Cal, in the previous session we looked at the activities for teaching that count on 1, 2, 0 and 3 facts. The use doubles cluster is next in our teaching sequence and those facts fall along here. Right. Yep. Can you use this diagram to explain to, to me what the, exactly the doubles are, uh, the double plus 1, the double plus 2 and, and where they fall within that strip? Okay, so when you double a number, what do you do? You double a number. You're, you're adding that number with, with itself. Okay, so if you're going to double 6, that's 6 uh, plus 6. So mm -hmm. the answer to that would be here, 12. And similarly, 5 plus 5 is there. So all the doubles are along this diagonal. Right. So that's where you find the, the, the one, one line of doubles. Yeah. And therefore there's no turnarounds with those. There's, there's just one line. There's no turnaround. Right. If you're going to do uh, double plus 1, that'll be something like 6 plus 7. So 6 plus 7 is uh, 13. And, so uh, it's double 6 and is 12, and one more is so double 13. 6 is 12, and one more is 13. 13, that's right. And the turnaround, 7 plus 6, would be nearby, just yeah. on, a, on, a, on another angle to it. Right. So the double plus 1, there's two lines of those on either side of the, di the, uh, the, the, the diagonal. The themselves, yeah. And then the double plus 2 would be out again. So we've had so we have 6 plus 8 is the same as double six That's right. and two more. Two more. Yeah. Right. Uh, first thing I see when I, when I look at this is there's an overlap between the used double facts and the count on facts. That's right. Some, some can be treated uh, both. You, you could go back here and say, well, I want to do uh, uh, two plus three. So if I have two plus three, I could treat that as a double two and one.